Grade 5 Math, number 27, Place Values, Read and Write Decimals. Fractions and decimals are written and read with a TH or THS at the end of their place value names. One-tenth is singular, so there's no S. It's just one-tenth. But when we have more than one in its plural, two-tenths, we add an S. Two-hundredths, two-one-thousandths, two-ten-thousandths. We put our teeth over our tongue and blow out air onto them very lightly. So just like the first digit on the left tells us the whole number place value, like in 34,000, this 3 tells us that we're in the 10 thousandths place, the last digit on the right tells us the fractional place value. So this 7 is in the hundredths place, tenths, hundredths. So we know this is 27 hundredths. The 4 is in the thousandths place, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So we know this is 314 thousandths. Now, if you take a look at the place value chart, you can see how it's split right down the middle with the decimal point. Anything to the left in the green, to increase the place value, we multiply by 10. And anything going towards the red, we divide by 10, and it'll decrease the value. See? Decrease, divide by 10, increase, multiply by 10. Now, another thing, if you don't look at these numbers here, if you look at the orange, here's a pattern I hope you'll remember for the rest of your life, okay? This is going to help you. If you look at the decimal point right here, and you look on each side of it, you see that the ones and the tenths are written without zeros. See? So I just put a line there. But as we move back and we look at these on the next columns on each side of that, they're each written with one zero. And as we go back even farther, these are written with two zeros, and then we go back, and those are written with three zeros, and if we go again, it's four zeros, and as we move this way, five, six, seven, so as we split away from the decimal point, we add zeros. We start with none, and then one, and then two, and then three on each side of it, see? All right, now let's take a look at this number. We have two, and, the decimal point is always read as and, 364 thousandths, because the 4 ended in the thousandths place. The 2 means 2 times 1, it means 2 ones. The tenths, the 3 tenths, means 3 times 1 tenth. The 6 stands for 6 hundredths, or 6 times 1 hundredth. And the 4 stands for 4 times 1 thousandth, and we end up with 2, two and 364 thousandths. When we read and write them, Point one is one tenth, it's in the tenths place, and it's read as one tenth. Point zero one is one hundredth, written as one hundredth. See? Tenths, hundredths. And then point zero zero one is equal to one thousandth, one thousandth, and it's tenths, hundredths, thousandths. See? So if we were to look at actual decimal numbers written, 1.75 is 1 and, say the and for the decimal point, 75 hundredths, because the 5 told us to write hundredths and to read hundredths. It would be read and written as a fraction as a 1 with a 75 over 100, like that, 75 hundredths. This one is 2.4, or 2 and 4 tenths. The 4 told us to write tenths, because it's in the tenths place. As a fraction, it would be 2 with a 4 over a 10, like that. And then this one is 0.263. The 3 tells us to write thousandths. It's 263 thousandths. See? We don't say the and, because there's no whole number in front of it. And it, as a fraction, it would be a 263 over a 1,000, see? Now, sometimes you'll see a decimal, and there'll be a zero at the end like this. This is still 3 tenths. I want you to remember that a zero is just a placeholder, okay? It can still be read as 30 one hundredths, because the zero is in the hundredths place, but it does still equal 3 tenths, because we can just take that zero off, okay? It's as if I wrote 100 like this. That, one, that zero could be there, but it's, it doesn't make any sense, see? There's no value. I'm saying there's zero thousands. 
So really, it's still 100, isn't it? Well, on this side of the decimal point, the same thing happens. It can hold a place value and be 30 one hundredths, but it still really is 0.3 or 3 tenths. 0 0.500 is still 0.5 or 5 tenths, but it can also be read as 500 one thousandths because the last zero is in the thousandths place. Isn't that weird? 0 0.070 can be seven hundredths because the seven is in the hundredths place, or we could say it's 70 one thousandths. So, always remember in math, the zero is just a placeholder. It has no value, okay? In the number 307, that zero has no value. It's just keeping the three and the seven apart so that you know that there's no tens. See, there's no value there. It's just holding the place. All right, so I hope that helps you with place value, and I hope that helps you read and write decimals. We're going to talk more about decimals. We're going to put them in order according to size. I hope you come with along and uh, watch the next video, and I hope this helped you. Bye.